Hey, hey, Aquarius. Welcome, welcome. It's your girl out of mine, the one that lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. And I'm here with you all's October monthly messages. We are walking out of a new moon in Libra. So, you know, that's my opposite sign. I'm feeling good. So I hope y'all are feeling good too. Uh, for those new to the channel, welcome. How are you? I feel like you're going to love it over here. And those that are coming back <laughs> okay the light bulbs welcome back light bulb how are you i hope that you are doing so well and i hope that this october brings you nothing but amazingness okay aquarius as i was um meditating for you all summer walkers girls need love too it's just ringing through my mind girls need love too Girls, what's a girl to do? <laughs> so you might need some love, okay? Um, or Summer Walker may be an artist that you are paying a lot of attention to right now. You may be playing her two albums. Um, you may be, I don't know, you may be a fan of hers. Uh, her energy may remind you of your own okay in some form or fashion so i don't know girls need love too though okay guess what else is going on for you i will not be doing cash app thursday this thursday um um is that the only to say yeah pretty much um um i will be uploading uh two pick a card messages this weekend this saturday and so we are introducing pick a card readings to the channel okay spirit what's the overall message and energy for my aquarians out there What's a girl to do? It's still stuck in my head. So I don't know. Summer Walker got some type of hold on y'all this month of October. You may be going to see her in concert. I feel like you might be telling somebody too. Or you may have been dealing with like... <clears throat> because when it comes to women, you know... Now, I do believe that there is a thin line between uh, women's liberation, sexual liberation, and hoeing, <laughs> okay? I'm going to just be honest. Like, I feel like to a certain point, sexual liberation becomes demonic, okay? Um, I do not feel as if that is where you all are. And I feel like that is what you fear, especially because the world tries to over-sexualize us as well as making us as well as make us feel um bad or a certain kind of way when it comes to liberating ourselves sexually in any kind of way, whether that be healthy or unhealthy, you know. And so I feel like for some of you Aquarians, you desire pleasure and you deserve pleasure you are worthy of pleasure but maybe some of you all feel like mm, i just don't want to take it too far or i don't want to give that side of me to the wrong person and that's completely understood okay i don't know if i like it like that but like i'm gonna just leave it um power over difficulty you are overcoming something that was very heavy it's a whole bunch of snakes and stuff you definitely i feel like some of you all have been working with the energy of medusa period okay or santa martha um, la damiradora and haitian voodoo i said that real american okay please forgive me i love her seriously a pep segment i don't know you all i feel like some of you all are working with 
um, dark goddess energy and over in order to overcome a lot you know you've been manipulated in the past you've been um, done really wrong people have tried to stagnate you and so I feel like this energy that you are working with. Some of you all are working with Kali Ma, my Kali, yes. Um, she's really, <laughs> back in April, if you go to my Instagram, go back to my birthday. And ever since starting to work with, I was working with other dark goddesses, but when I really, like, really, um, started like working, working with that energy. It was my Kali. And I feel like she came through. I mean, literally like she came through and made something happen to the point where it was like, yeah, you need to be working with me. <laughs> like you, you're working with other energies, but you are not putting in that like work for real. And so when you come over here, you're going to have to put in that work for real and it's going to be for your highest benefit. So I'm very thankful that I did answer the call, although it has not been easy, not by any means, but with power over difficulty, that means you Pisces have overcome or are overcoming a lot of um, challenges that you've had to grow through. Okay, achievement. You've Effort plus intention is achievement. So you have been putting in that effort plus pure intention. And so, again, you are overcoming a lot of different obstacles. God, the illuminated path. This makes me feel like everything that has happened, it may feel almost as if it's like you're going to start saying that every single thing that has happened has brought you to this point for a reason and you're about to find out what the reason is um your path is going to feel a lot more clear and defined this month of october okay For some of you all, I feel like you may have um, people around you that just don't understand you. And I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like you have like secret haters. They aren't like people that really like hate on you or front of your face, but I feel like they may talk about you behind your back. Mm. And I see you moving again, power over difficulty. What's really going to help you here, you're moving out of this heavy, toxic ass, hating ass shit. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people have something to say about you. Whether it's who you with or what you doing, how you doing it. You know, they're just mad because they can't do it the way that you do it. It's projection, baby. Power over difficulty. I see you really moving out of the eyes of these people though effort plus intention i see you an illuminated path i see you being tunnel vision look look how they they don't want to see you winning they want to see you in a penitentiary i need me a little baby who gonna listen but i don't want to be the one you eating period like they don't want to see you winning but you aren't even paying attention to them what else kodak say in this new album um, crackers in my left lane, but I'm staying ahead. 
tunnel vision, the illuminated path. You are really focused on what it is that you have going on. And when it comes to that other shit, baby, that shit could kick rocks. You aren't paying any attention to it. That's what I'm fucking talking about, Aquarius, okay? Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. Y'all know that's my favorite thing to say. Fuck them. People be so mad because you can't do, because they can't do what you're doing. They want to be doing what you're doing. They want to be in your body. They literally want to be in your body, baby. I was I was meant to be me. You're going to have to go and harvest another, another body, another person's energy. You're going to have to go and try to take over someone else's shit because not I. Not I, baby, not I. Something that you felt was very secure. Something did come in and, I mean, I, I'm hearing, like, snatched it up right from up underneath your feet. And so with the full card here, it's like you're having to move into a new direction. You, you, I feel like you didn't want to. You were comfortable where, where you were at. But this has left you no choice. Okay, this has really left you no choice. And now you are having to figure out like, okay, where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? I, I have, you have a lot of options of the directions where you could go. You're, this is the full, you can go anywhere, but you're just trying to decide and make the decision that is best and that is right. When it comes to making the decision, Aquarius, I honestly feel like your intentions are going to be the one of the driving factors here. What's your goal? You know, and why is that your goal? When you figure out the why, you are going to know exactly what steps action wise to to take halloween okay libra season is up for you aquarius okay there's a lot of peace coming in again i feel like you all have really been surrounded with hating ass energy and you aren't you aren't bringing that with you moving forward you are in your body you're feeling yourself you're feeling very attractive you're feeling very fertile very creative very passionate about what it is that you do you're being seen is really beautiful i feel like some of you all really feel very confident in your body in your um your looks, yeah, but like on the inside as well. You just really love who you are this month. And it's bringing a lot of harm, harmony, harm, harmonious experiences, opportunities, and energies to you. I feel like by the full moon on October 9th, um, if you don't feel this way yet, you will by the full moon on October 9th. So we have about a week and a half, two weeks to two weeks, two weeks to go to that. I feel like your emotions are a lot more leveled this month too, like balanced out. Yeah, because you knew exactly, you know exactly what you needed to release. You know exactly what you needed to clear out, cut the cords from. You know exactly what attachments were keeping you down, holding you down. And so moving forward, you are protecting yourself from those things in every way. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. I'm hearing like, you know, when certain thoughts come up, you automatically, you know, um, think of some sunshine to get the focus off of that negative shit onto something way more positive. Like you are very, very intentional. Effort plus intention. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I'm looking for that action. I can't remember who that is. That's an old ass Atlanta song. Shit, I feel like that was some shit. About a bitch, you can have that shit. Young, treat her like school, give her early dismissal. Child, bye bye, be gone, bye bye. Um, and I've that's come up in a reading before, like a while ago. But that's some that's some old Atlanta shit. I moved to Atlanta when I was in middle school, like eighth grade of middle school. And so the Travis Porters, the um, oh what's up. Oh, what's up? The rich kids. Uh, watch me crank that. All the crank dats and shit. You know, that's that era. Gucci Mane. Old Gucci Mane. Not new Gucci Mane. Lim not even this is before Lemonade Gucci Mane. This is uh, Ice Cream Gucci Mane. Uh, Will Chamberlain Gucci Mane. You feel me? <laughs> and I don't know. that though Those artists and that nostalgia may be coming up for you all, Aquarius, as well. There's something in that. So, mm. but about a bitch, you can have that ish, young, treat her like school, give her early dismissal. You are like not paying any attention to these distractions, to these hating ass energies. You can feel it. Like you can feel when people just don't have good intentions for you without them even having to say too much. Mm. You are being called, you have something that you need to express to someone. This is a lot of love and you are very hesitant in admitting how you feel to this person, but you are being called to have courage in this. Express your love, you know. Um, some of y'all may have a guard up. You are, you may be afraid to give because you don't know if this person is going to, you know, just receive, 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 or if, if they're going to give you back what you are putting out and that you need as well and desire. So, but I feel like you being courageous in this moment and showing your love for this person. Being very innocent about it, you know, being like a child again, almost like you know, releasing all forms of like being jaded from the past. I feel like you can trust this here. It's completely different from what you are used to. So that's your reading Aquarius, but I hope that you all enjoy a beautiful October. We'll, we will be back with the mid monthly messages around the third week of October. But until then, please enjoy yourselves. Enjoy this Libra energy, this Venusian energy, this balancing type energy. And don't forget to let your light shine no matter who it blinds. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.